Sup, people? We are on Mill Road here, and it is indeed Prabuti versus Von Ivan back from Russia. He is back in the good old US of A. <clears throat> yeah. So Prabuti is already locked in cart motor, and Von Ivan, he has got that Overwatch. Grand Offensive and Elite Armor Doctrine at his disposal. <clears throat> Bulletins wise for both players, it appears to be buffs for all their mainline infantry. Whilst Grenadiers, they do receive a little less suppression. That was about the only bulletin that really stood out here. <clears throat> also, Prabuti making a beeline towards the fuel while having his conscript squad. Capture the point here. <clears throat> also, double energy start, getting those boys quickly on the battlefield in order to grab some territory. Almost similar uh, capping order here. Both players just grabbing a the strategic point outside of their base and then going straight for the fuel, leaving the mainline infantry to actually cap the cutoff point. <clears throat> You need something built? Nope. But I need some territories captured. Could you do that? Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, take behind, uh, cover behind the cow or the plow. I don't care. Just take some cover. <clears throat> oh, wow. That's an early retreat there for Vaughn. Not looking to uh, get caught and lose models. Hmm. Quick retreat, though. Stern Pioneers here. Yeah, okay. Versus combat engineer and a squad of conscripts. They are not quite uh, capable of taking that fight. Certainly not at a distance. <clears throat> Prabuti making his way towards the middle VP, which, uh, yeah, nobody has been scouting the middle one. Oh, just had something in my nose. Uh, well, guys, what are you planning on doing here? Have a group hawk or something like that? Territory captured and... Well, the Red Army is marching towards one's cutoff and... He's got a little... Yeah, nobody is really that close, well, except for one squad. <clears throat> and there's even some green cover there that he could utilize now that uh, one is trying to come in. Some of the models. No, actually, it appears to be all green cover despite there being a fence in front of it. Huh. Anyway, Von Ivan, he is pulling some of his forces back, but more reinforcements are coming in from Pabuti. However, one good incendiary grenade here, which is not unlocked, could have been so very helpful. Another Volk squad coming out here looking to flanked them, ambushed them right in the back, and <laughs> yeah, all of them immediately just rotated, just like that. And there's the grenade. Time to go home, boys. You did get the capture, well, decap. So, good enough. Also distracted a lot of uh, Vons troops, but then again, the, almost the entire Red Army were there. Back in base, medics are indeed unlocked and good to go. Speaking of medics, apparently he doesn't want to go battle group. Needs just w one more fuel. Okay, hey, it's going to be the mechanized. Well, it's so rare these days that we get to see a mechanized in uh, 1v1. So I like... Um, I like it for variety's sake. <clears throat> Flamethrower. Of course, the merch is coming in here, giving them an extra man, allowing them to stay on the field for longer. <clears throat> Congratulations, conscripts. Here's your engineering diploma. You can now blow stuff up. <clears throat> More conscripts are heading in, and... Yeah. I don't... Yeah, that's the retreat. I wouldn't think he would be able to actually get the territory captured. However, Vaughn, he is cutting through down here with his stern pioneers. Cutting Prabuti off of his uh, munitions point while Von Ivan just established his connection to his high munition point. And Vaughn also getting double munis. 
Mm -hmm. That is, if you of course can capture this <laughs> and look, even belts of ammunition lying around here. Germans, by the looks of it. Same can be said for this one up here. Hmm. Make it nice down, but if he wants any of this out here, he's gonna have to wait like a minute before um, he'll have enough fuel. But oh, locking in the Overwatch doctrine. I don't think he'll be going for uh, the um, Jäger Light Infantry Recon Squad, seeing as he already has four uh, Volks Grenadiers and getting a fifth Infantry Squad right now. I feel that would be a little overkill, this, especially now that he wants to go for a mechanized, then he probably wants to save his manpower for the tank. <clears throat> However, there is a vehicle on the way. I wouldn't exactly call it a tank. Nope, it is the Goliath. Not quite heavily armored, but it packs a huge punch. Just click this button here and uh, stuff will happen. Blow up, in fact. Guards coming out here, though you don't need PTRS rifles to penetrate this armor here. <laughs> it is lightly armored. Oh, look at him go. Little cheeky boy here. Bringer of death, destruction and doom. <laughs> Let's see Prabuti try to take the cutoff point now. There now that there is a booby trap waiting for him. <clears throat> oh, this one has been lift, and the mid kits up there are still lying about. <clears throat> Vols Grenadiers trying to protect their fuel along with this uh, Southern VP here, but it's already been taken by the enemy, and yeah, all these guns here pointing at them. Plus, there are no windows on this side here. Conscripts cannot fire out of the door, and neither can any infantry for that matter. <clears throat> However, what? Oh, 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 oh! Retreat! Oh, close. I did see uh, these boys here getting hit by a um, PTRS shot, or so it looked like. So I was wondering, where are the guards? And they were up there. <clears throat> the Goliath did not pay off, however. And Vaughn, he is lacking territory. He is, of course, trying to make a push towards the north, making a land grab. Because he's a land crab. Like the rest of us. <laughs> it's not like any of our sailors. <laughs> and if you are a sailor, then I'd be surprised. <clears throat> so. Oh, that wasn't the Goliath. Yeah, it's the Panzer II. I thought it was another one. <laughs> this one here. Better armored, doesn't have the quite as much explosive packed in it, but it do have a um, a little cannon. Good versus infantry. However, Vaughn, he has to be a little bit careful uh, with his Panzer II. There is, of course, the guards out with their PTRS rifles. Two of them, in fact, while penals get free. Wow, is here. Okay, you get some suppression in, but there it is, the Ura. And they are safely getting about here, the MG, and the MG just falls back. <clears throat> Panzer 2, and look at this sexy camouflage that it's branding. It is Lux, after all, and it did kind of look like a cat. <clears throat> Anywho. Double machine guns for Vaughn. Wow. He is not afraid to lock down his territory here. Besides, why would you be afraid of locking down your own territory? Yeah. Maybe not as mobile uh, as uh, the other units you have, but um, they pack a punch. And of course, as we all know, they deal suppressive fire. <clears throat> Prabuti here. Yeah, these boys here will be able to win this, so just fall back. And the guards. Have they actually found the uh, P2? No. 
They have not. But in Soviet Russia, P2 finds you just as you are retreating them. <laughs> oh, well, have no fear. Have a beer. The T70 is here. And that is capable of defeating the P2. If the P2 would be so kind as to stand still. <clears throat> That's not to say that the Panzer II can actually uh, put some holes into the T-70, but when the T-70 is backed up by a field gun, yeah, then it's no contest who will be winning that engagement. And just like that, Von Ivan has regained territory. Even getting one of them pinned right here and there we go. They are retreating. The T-70 is still doing its thing trying to well get the germans back why are they hiding there odd anywho more vehicles are coming up von ivan one more dangerous than the other <clears throat> however one of them only of course being a one-time use hence the reason why they do not have any um veterancy bar <clears throat> a vet five goliath would be capable of destroying half the map so Due to balance issues, veterancy was removed on the Goliath, and I am just blabbering here. <laughs> Puma on the field. Just like it was 2019, we have a mechanized build here. Puma and the Panzer II ready to deal some damage to the Soviets. Also, the crater now being utilized by the predecessor hiding along there should anyone walk by puma very good versus the t70 here and it's machine gun decent versus infantry and speaking of infantry these boys here do not pack any um at grenade <clears throat> a little bit of smoke coming in there i'd love i would have loved to see an he grenade there that might have been able to save the uh t70 uh, and yeah, the HMG there. Dead. Flattened. It's a pancake. Oh, the guards just went boom. <laughs> ah, the revenge. Second time, the guards... They died. Oh, that's Joe. Oh, what's left of him? <clears throat> Are there any AT grenades? No. Prabhuti, he's telling his troops to man up and take those shells like a champ. They can always be replaced. So, back in base here, 13 minute mark. Prabhuti, he did invest into a, um, a T 70 here, so I doubt uh, he'll. Yeah, he won't have any um, tech structure down in the near future Enemy forces well actually yes i assume that two minutes could be a, in the near future and thus he would get down the tech structure but you know he won't have a tank out by the 15 minute mark that's what i'm trying to say <clears throat> ah yes be on the lookout for solid snake he wants to uh, destroy this weapon very powerful indeed already up to four kills unlike say a league which uh, has to tickle their uh, victim a little bit before they actually get some kills in meanwhile the 120 millimeter mortar uh, won't be doing any tickling nope it just skips the foreplay and go death not dead but it goes straight to death and destruction <clears throat> let's see yeah are there any m oh, okay 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 we got the uh yes medics <laughs> curious build here uh for von ivan going for a battle group headquarters investing a little bit of fuel into getting down the um the battle group headquarters and then the field medics <clears throat> so his men will of course thank him for that hmm <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Making a good push. Who they pretty much walked into that. But they're still alive. He's keeping them on the field despite the threat of raining mortars. Risky business. But sometimes you gotta take those risks. Looks like the mortar is... Yeah, where is the mortar? Oh, it's over there. <laughs> and now... They are running back. Notice how the weapon crew are patiently waiting for the guy carrying the weapon to also start running. Uh, quite solitary, those uh, guys. But then again, they do have a shared responsibility of manning and thus getting the mortar back to the base. So I assume that's what's keeping them around. <clears throat> Last truck for Vaughn. And it's, it will, of course, be the Svera Panzer headquarters. I swear, if he builds uh, another mechanized regiment headquarters, then I don't know what I'm watching. Must be some sort of glitched version of the game. <laughs> but could you imagine if you could plant multiple of these? That would be interesting in a 4v4. <laughs> Squad survives! <sighs> I hope. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Flamethrower misses it. Nope, there we go. Gets a target. Dead and gone. And now, I believe there's just an opening available here for our, um, for the Jaeger Light Infantry in Von Ivan's army. <clears throat> How's it going here? What is happening? Oh, medics? No. <laughs> Medics for um, armor. Yeah, medics for armor, also called mechanics or repair pioneers. <clears throat> what are these guys doing? You know, they haven't really been earning any kills or much veterancy for that matter. Huh. Oh, well, if he wants to get some veterancy on them, I'd suggest uh, getting a panzer strike on them uh, once the... Um, Armor starts to roll out. That ought to make them earn some combat experience. Another T-70 here. Vaughn apparently not looking to um, save up for the sector assault. But if he can get a squad wipe with, a, with this uh, Goliath here, I'd say it's worth investing 100 Muni. He already got one out of two tries. So, it's alright. Stelgewehrs. Heading in closer. Oh, yeah. He should also consider uh, at least give some of his men some of those uh, sweet, tasty Sturmgewehrs. Why do we not have Sturmgewehrs, Hans? The commander has opted to go for the Goliath. Yeah, plenty of explosion in that thing. <clears throat> Machine gun on the Puma there, trying to do its thing. And of course, these boys here need more veterancy before they can actually passively heal themselves. <clears throat> oh, here is the mortar. Boom. Another two kills. <clears throat> However, oh, the machine gun caught some flies in its nest. But uh, yeah, the bug exterminator is here. The T-34 going hunting and the rest of the gang here is falling back. <clears throat> Von Ivan, he has gone for a league, but yeah, it hasn't been doing an awful lot of things. That That's the thing that I said, the league just needs to tickle first before it kills, unlike the uh, 120 millimeter here. If it doesn't kill, well, then it's easy pickings for the rest of um, the army to bring the models down to the ground in their grave. Also, yeah, he went for the smaller variant here, and I can understand that. The uh, slash 85 variant, very powerful when it comes to uh, dealing with the OKW Panzer IV, but that huge turret is not needed when it's fighting uh, light tanks. Or infantry, for that matter. Doink! <laughs> <laughs> they were standing right next to that triple air mine. I didn't even see it. <sighs> well, that is actually a reason, I believe, for um, some of the players just 
playing on lower graphics, making it easier to um, to spot mines. Did anyone die here? Two, three, four. I count four bodies and nobody retreating. Did he lose? I think he lost one of his uh, conscript squads. Yeah. All right. Not too shabby. And immediately another one clocks in. Just another day at the office. Seven kills. About to get killed themselves. Oh, but not before earning a second star. Ah, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. The league, however, is struggling apparently versus the uh, 120 millimeter. <laughs> As we can see, a guy there crawling back. Ah! <laughs> HMG Raketen Werfer. Sup, my dudes? You might want to fire. No? Well, fine. I guess. <laughs> Second veterancy there. Improves weapon accuracy, sight range, and rate of fire. Of course, it also get a dangerous, even more dangerous at Vet 4. That is when it can uh, fire even further, making it such a good AT support unit. <clears throat> doink, doink, doink. Oh. 120 millimeter didn't scratch the uh, P2, but the Syscon down here is putting in the work. Also, mechanics are actually capable of reaching uh, the vehicles outside of the base. How did that guy get repaired? Oh, well. Now repairs are coming in. <clears throat> capping this, capping that. Could also lay down some sandbags while waiting. But then again, I suspected he may be busy elsewhere on the map. Anywho. Yeah, Prabuti. With 200 VPs left, and Vaughn, he's got that triple cap going. Prabuti won't be able to last for long unless he gets those VPs under his control. Yes! <laughs> Another one. Only um, combat engineer, but still. Veterancy gone. Having to uh, reinvest another and 170 um, manpower into the combat engineers. And of course... Some munis for their now lost equipment. Right? It did. Yeah. Everything is dead and gone. They didn't drop the flamethrower as it was, as predicted, blown to pieces. Anywho, but I am finally getting his um, medium armor out here. <sighs> Not surprisingly, this late, seeing as um, he has invested a lot into his light armor. What's that? 130? Yeah. <clears throat> Just about the price of the um, Pianza 4. T-34 of the bigger variant? Yes! Prabuti sensing that it's Von Ivan's time to get out his medium armor. <clears throat> Right, let's check in in the league. Look like it's trying to do something versus these conscripts here, but uh, it's not getting the kill spot. At least it's, as I said, tickling them. Did get a second kill, though. The tickling league. That kind of rolls on your tongue, doesn't it? <clears throat> Fire! Igevash! Boya! Good job. Yikes. Keep on running, boy. Oh, the Raketen Werfer there just had a nasty run in with Stalin's guards. And fortunately, those PGRS bullets, they just shoot right through flesh. So no metal shards inside of you or so, I think. <clears throat> oh, they all happily clumped up there. How nice. Puma is showing its face there, trying to get some damage in and actually succeed at doing so. <clears throat> One thing I did notice that when Ivan had gone for a uh, Raketen Warfare, he's usually not much for going for eight but... Uh, seeing that he has invested this much fuel into his light tanks, he's kind of dependent on his, um, 
his AT gone and Puma here to uh, hold the line until uh, he could get out his own armor. And boy, that Panzer Four is actually doing quite well. Meanwhile, Prabuti's armor here is in for a service check. Or maybe it's off to the scrapyard. I do not know. Ah, okay. It's making its way back, which is more than I could probably say about the Siskan here as it's getting just cut down. Yeah, there we go. Got one of the carriers and boom, dead. Not before uh, the mortar uh, just... Whoo -hoo, gotten up to 14 kills. Nice. And he's looking to make this loss permanent. How much is that? Is it 300? Yeah, 324 this. There we go. And back to base, you did good, Rakid and Werfer. <clears throat> now, Prabuti here seems to be replacing his uh, lost infantry with tanks. Not a bad idea if you have the fuel for it. And there we go, another one coming in. Pioneers doing their thing. It's such a nice uh, luxury, micro luxury that you have there. Just park your tanks nearby and then they'll get repaired in due time. Alright, the they've hit the dirt here, but the Puma taking a lot of damage from those guards and thus falls back, even pushing the pioneers away. Hey, hey, wait your turn, buddy. We'll get you in a second, alright? <clears throat> Panzer 4 once again ready to show its beautiful skin to the conscripts here and com proceeds to completely miss. Oh, the league it continues its tickling. Oh boy. Yo, Panzer 4, is this your first day? It's. Sure, it's okay to be nervous. And there we go, Rakettenworth did fire a shot, but uh, at this rate here, it will die, get the crude before it, yeah. <laughs> before it actually becomes a real threat to the T-34. <clears throat> oh, oh, we got action up here. The big one, caught out by a Puma and a Panzer IV, but uh, didn't really take an awful lot of damage. However, the Panzer II needs to reverse a bit there in order to get repairs and the gang here is looking to take action while Prabudi is continuing to suffering 49 VPs at least he is chewing off some VPs out of uh, von Ivan's football here what kind of dog would von Ivan be anyway a great Dane perhaps yeah. he is kind of tall I think nah. <clears throat> stern pioneers were lost at god knows when <laughs> that's not stern pioneers models neither that oh well <laughs> there's just dead bodies scattered all over this place here <clears throat> Dead horse. Haven't really seen Prabuti lay down her um, sandbags. No? Not going for it? Okay, he's content with having green cover. No, uh, light cover. <clears throat> Same thing goes for Vaughn. We haven't really seen any huge sandbags plays here, which is refreshing for a change. A little bit of damage coming in. Let's try another angle. We see the tanks up there getting repaired. Infantry doing a little bit of capping in the background while the tanks are trying to push up. The League also joining in with some sort of fire support. Panzer 4 coming down here. The Rakettenwerfer getting pretty close at taking down that vetted one. The Panzer 4, however trying to make its way down there the puma could it be going in for this here but the guards not capable of buttoning though but that was a good shot from that p4 killing most of the guards however all oh, raketten worth a scores a hit fires through the the now destroyed garrison not too bad and here's the puma 
coming in with that AT support, though it's not hitting anything. Okay, takes down one. And that. Dead and gone. Dead and gone, but at least the Puma got up to vet four. Not really a, a good trade for Vaughn. Oh! Another conscript squad died. Courtesy of uh, <laughs> the little Goliath there. <laughs> well, okay. Good pickup from Vaughn. <clears throat> His uh, AT department is, however, lacking in strength now that the uh, P4 is dead. The Puma here escapes thanks to his concealment smoke. However, the Panzer II getting hit by guards, and there goes the leak. The 120 millimeter claims yet another kill. Uh, Sturmgewehr has been issued to the squad. One of the squads retreat. Raketenwerfer on the scene here. The vetted free T-34 has self-repaired itself. Not too bad when you're being that self-reliant. Let's check in on the mortar yet. Yeah, just killing stuff as usual. Oh, hello. Expecting someone? <laughs> Anywho, armor has yet to be repaired here. <clears throat> Not that the Panzer II can do much against the current armored threat that Prabuti has on the field. Oh, wait a minute. It was the big T-34 that went down. Okay, that makes the trade even better. Especially when you consider that he also managed to take down the Conscript squad there. So, not too shabby. Any salvage? No... He is going down to get the VP here. Vaughn is bleeding VP is just what Prabudi need. Seeing as he is still way, way, way behind. <clears throat> However, Vaughn does not have enough for the Panzer Shrek here. Could be a little uh, bit of spice in terms of helping out versus Prabudi's ever-growing Panzer threat. <clears throat> well, that's the thing about the Puma. It may have range and decent damage, considering it's a light tank, but it doesn't always penetrate. But like that, look at it. Look at this proud boy here. <clears throat> Annihilates a T-34. Speaking of annihilation, well, okay, they are running. They are running. All clear. Puma continues to feel very confident in his abilities of destroying uh, the T-34s. Yeah, you kind of like a tank destroyer. Like a little, little tank destroyer when you get up to uh, Vet 4. <laughs> Good on you. Mine sweeper out there, but I don't recall Von Ivan laying any mines. He has been a... Um, well, he has some sort of mine on the field. <laughs> a mobile mine. Powerful stuff. <clears throat> Just zoning out there. The bleeding has stuff for both teams. Raketen Werfer is daring to enter Nomad's land. And spots a T-34. How convenient. You were made for this! Destroy it! Good job on your raketen warfare. You hit and penetrated your target. And here is Prabuti! Yep! See, you're only a little tank destroyer. Oh, oh, another one. Alright, alright. Not going to give chase, but good thing he didn't. <laughs> the guards are in town. Looking to uh, hunt the little cat. By the way, the cat is, of course, a lot bigger in real life and much more dangerous to infantry. Um, dangerous to humans in general, if you have made it mad, aggressive, or, you know, just being near it in general could be dangerous. So, respect nature and its big cats. Otherwise, you get your face clawed. <clears throat> Let's see where the kitty is. Just standing guard there. 
Still guarding though, not looking to get down here and do some f business. What is one doing? Is he going for King Tiger? I mean, he's got all of his trucks down and he has plenty of fuel to call in a um, Panzer IV. Now manpower, that's a whole other issue. <clears throat> Spotted, shots exchanged. Hurt the Puma a lot more than it hurt the T-34. Meanwhile, up here, this Panzer is wrecking the bulks. Goodbye. And... Uh, is that the big one? Yeah. Prabuti's game sense must be tingling. He must be expecting some sort of big thing as... The only medium tank that Von Ivan has had on the field was that single Panzer IV. And now we're at the 36 minute. So Prabuti must be thinking that Vaughn is swimming in fuel and preparing for something big. Fifteen kills, not too bad. Lots of infantry coming in here, backed up with armor support, of course. <clears throat> Could try to double Faust. Well, one of them is... Nope, neither of them are getting Fausted. So good push here from Pabuti. Oh, that's the uh, the late fuse that we see here, doing extra damage. Also very good versus uh, the uh, emplacements from OKW, especially when they are also repairing because there's quite the splash damage on that. <clears throat> Field med kits. Yep, veteran C5. They can heal themselves. Where is this? Oh, it's just standing back here. Probably waiting to uh, have another go at getting into all these delicious craters, which do provide light cover for the most part, meaning it will be concealed. <clears throat> well, Vaughn not really reinforcing his men to the fullest here. He is continuing to save up. Panther, Rakit and Wurfer. This could be a kill. Miss and a hit, though. Okay, not quite. I think the Puma needed to actually get a hit there, and then it might have gone down or destroyed its turret. Puma bounces, however. Going in, misses. Ah. Well, that's what I call a missed opportunity. It's actually starting to look very good for Pabuti here. Almost had one Ivan. We'll have one Ivan down to 100, below 100 VPs very soon. And in um, the meantime, Pabuti has only lost seven victory points himself. But, 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 should Von Ivan get out his uh, King Tiger, then it is decently supported, actually. Oh, oh. Oh, oh no, 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 no! Okay, that could have been a lot worse. But he is losing his Sverdepanzer headquarters here. Ouch. <clears throat> and there it is. The mighty King Tiger on the field. Look at this sexy beast here. I love this camouflage that uh, Von Ivan has on his vehicles. Yeah. <laughs> Out of the way, little Goliath. I'ma crush you if you don't. <laughs> Which it's probably bad. It could hurt me too. Anyway, now that Von Ivan has invested heavily into the big cat, he can begin reinforcing his men. Let's see what the tiger can do. 48 points! He needs to make something happen fast. <clears throat> Prabuti, he may not be that well equipped to deal with Tiger. Now he's getting out another T-34. <clears throat> he did lose his AT gun. Well, okay, he has guards, guards, bottom this and along with his T-34s here. Well, okay, it's not, not bad at all, actually. <clears throat> but Von Ivan, he still needs to make a play. This King Tiger here might just have been the death of him as each victory point is well guarded 
with 18 points left i feel like this was a mistake but nonetheless we get to see the big tiger he's capping this point here couldn't quite get this down here even lost to his Volkskrone and the Dia squad in the process and yeah this is game there's no way that one he can come back from this four points remaining dropping two at the time there we go game over <clears throat> so yeah I think the game would have gone in the uh, one's favor if he had if he could have gotten his KT out sooner but that's life Prabuti made a sweet comeback yeah anyway that's all for this time folks hope you enjoyed it and like and subscribe if you did dislike the video if you disliked it and as always i'll see you next time so long